Hey, this is Kenneth, and today I'm going to show you my super basic Z80 chip tester. So this week I was cleaning it. I was helping clean out the Cal Poly Amateur Radio Club's ham shack, and I happened upon a surprisingly complete set of Z80 CPUs and support circuitry. So I found two Z80s, two Z80 UARTs. This is a the clock and timer control chip for it, and then. A whole bunch of two and eight kilobyte SRAMs. So I was thinking I could probably build a project out of these, but before I started the tedious process of wiring together all of the address lines and data lines and everything in your standard 8 bit microprocessor project, I wanted to make sure that these processors were actually at all good. Um, so what I have here is a 555 wired up as a very slow clock generator, although you can speed this up quite a bit. And then I have the Z80 here with just enough circuitry around it to trick it, trick it into thinking that there's actually an actual system around it. So what I have is I have the five lines for reset and the memory access and the DMA stuff all tied high. And then I have pull down resistors on all eight of the data lines so that when the Z80 does its load, uh, it loads a 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 which is the opcode for a no op. And so at this point, I then now have LEDs on the three least significant address lines. So A0, A1, and A2. And by resetting it, we can now see it start to count up. Is it four clock cycles? And now it's acting up. Anyways, it's four clock cycles per command and then you can see here that the program counter which is outputted on the address lines is being incremented once per no op. Uh, so that was the reset sequence and so now it's actually running. Um, so this pretty well indicates that this Z80 is run working and isn't DOA uh, without having to wire up a million wires to a bunch of SRAMs and ROMs and SIOs and stuff so um, it's looking, this is looking encouraging as far as me building a actual processor project with it. This has been Kenneth, showing you how to check the dipstick 